It's one of the hardest working parts of the body. Helping us perform just about every daily activity, the knee joint is in constant movement. As a result, it is subject to a significant amount of wear and tear and is more likely to be injured than any other joint in the body. It's no wonder knee replacement surgery is one of the most common procedures performed in the United States today. In fact, more than 580,000 were performed last year alone. Total knee replacement is actually a complete resurfacing of all of the articular parts of the knee. Uh, articular parts being the surfaces of the knee of the bones themselves, the femur, the tibia, and the underside of the kneecap. The most common cause for knee pain and disability is arthritis. A condition that causes the cartilage that cushions the bone to soften and wear away, arthritis usually occurs in people 50 years of age and older. With Americans living longer than ever before and living more active lives, the number of total knee replacements performed in the U.S. is only expected to increase. The major trend in knee replacement surgery uh, in this country as well as abroad is, is the fact that our populations are continuing to age. The numbers of patients that were performing knee replacements uh, is growing. They're getting it done at a younger age and they're demanding much more out of their knee surgeries. I decided to undergo knee surgery because I wanted to become more active again. Um, my physical ability to be able to go out and dance or to even walk for long periods of time had gotten to a point where I could no longer do that with just the cortisone shots. First performed in 1968, knee replacement surgery has come a long way. Improvements in surgical techniques and materials have greatly improved the effectiveness of the procedure. But a process called oxidation can degrade one of the main materials of the replacement component, contributing to increased wear and ultimately leading to revision procedures. Oxidation happens and we can see it in our everyday lives with uh, the browning of fruit, uh, rust on a fence, and um, it's usually caused by what's called free radicals that are floating around and, and causes the product to degradate over time. New advancements, however, may help to reduce long-term wear and extend the life of a total knee replacement. Created by DJO Surgical, a leading surgical products manufacturer, e is the first FDA-cleared insert component that is blended with vitamin E, which is added to polyethylene to stop the oxidation process. In laboratory testing, e exhibited excellent wear properties, maintained mechanical strength, and there was no detectable oxidation. DJO's vitamin E polyethylene, the e is a blended polyethylene, where the resin of the polyethylene is actually blended with vitamin E, which is unique and different than any other product on the market. What this does is this provides a homogeneous solution and improves the longevity of the implant. The importance of having the vitamin E blended directly into the product is that it will stay in the product and it won't seep out into the body. Another benefit of the vitamin E is that it eliminates the free radicals without compromising the strength of the material. e performs very well. In fact, in a knee simulator test, we saw a 57% reduction in the wear rate of e over conventional polyethylene. As patients get joint replacements younger and continue to live longer, experts agree healthcare will not be able to support multiple revisions over a patient's life. The development of E-Plus is just one solution to increasing the longevity of joint replacement, improving patient quality of life, as well as sustaining Medicare-type programs. As an industry leader in developing orthopedic surgery products, DJO Surgical plans to continue integrating this innovative technology into other joint replacement procedures with the goal of improving lives and bringing the highest quality orthopedic products to today's rapidly changing medical world.